Hi, my name is Thomas, and I have a fake eye. Now I was thinking, hmm, okay, this one's getting kind of boring, why not make a new one? And why not bring you guys along for the ride? But first, to preface, especially for those who have one eye, uh, this is not a tutorial. This is probably extremely hazardous to my own health to be wearing my own creations, but I don't really care because I'm gonna die anyways, and you should talk to a specialist about this. Also, I know I need a haircut. All right, let's go. So the first thing we need in our extremely scuffed eyeball making recipe is some epoxy resin. So I got this, apparently it's high quality and apparently it's food safe. Uh, does it have to be food safe? I mean, I don't know, man. I'm putting this in my eye socket. I should at least pretend to think about safety a little bit. All right, so the next ingredient on our list is mica powder. Mica powder, mica powder. This is for the whites of our eyes. So we have white and silverish mica powder. I've tried other colors before thinking that they'd be cool, but honestly, any color other than white makes you look like you have some kind of disease. So we're sticking with white. So the last thing you need is a mold for the inside of your eye socket. And of course, a specialist would be someone who does this. But since I already have a glass eye, I took a mold of the glass eye that I already have. So I made these three silicon molds just in case I mess up on one of them. Okay, so let's get mixing. Equal amounts of resin and hardener. And I'm gonna put some of the mica powder into here. How much mica powder? I mean, I don't know, man. Just eyeball it. And eyeball amounts. <laughs> get it? Kill me. Now we mix. Okay, wow, that looks dangerously drinkable. Now it's time to pour this into the molds. We will leave a little bit of space at the top because that's where the pupil goes, and we will fill that in later. Oh my god, this is terrible. Do you guys know how difficult it is to pour something like this with no depth perception? Now that we have filled the molds, we will hit it with a heat gun so that we can get rid of all of the bubbles. All right, now we just wait for this to set. So after it sets and you demold it, it looks something like this. Now we can start making the pupil. So the first thing I'm going to do is to paint a base layer, and I'm using black 2.0. After this base layer, we can now give it some color. I was inspired by my friend and got some gel nail polish. This is purplish. I think it will work out well. The purple is pretty dark. I think maybe I should have used a white base layer, but I still think it looks pretty good. Now just hit it with some UV light. Now that we have our background done, we can really go crazy with the decorations. I've put stuff in here like earrings, watch gears, every single kind of nail art imaginable. I've also done miniature paintings in here before, done calligraphy. But I think this time, what I'm going to use are opal inlays. This is for guitar making. I used to DIY my own guitars, but I haven't used these yet, so why not use it now? So first, I'm going to put a very thin layer of UV resin, just so the opal has something to stick to. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put red opal for most of the eye, and then just a line of blue opal down the middle. I think that looks pretty cool, so I'm going to set it with some UV light. Alright, now I'm going to fill in the rest with UV resin. Wow, that looks really cool. I think the final step is to wash this and try it on. Alright, so I got a haircut, but this is the new eye. This is currently my old eye. It has the constellation Aries in it. And I guess it's time for me to put this on. Ah, oh, man. Whoa. I think that looks pretty cool, but maybe I should have made the pupil bigger. I really don't know how to end a video as weird as this, but if you're my eye doctor, I'm so sorry. This is how you found out I'm making my own eyes. Okay, I'll catch you guys later.